So this part two to the subatomic particles and using the periodic table to figure out protons, neutrons, and electrons, this is going to focus on the term isotope. Okay, so what an isotope is, so for any isotope, it's different than an element a little bit. So isotopes are atoms of an element that have the same number of protons. And we know that protons are characteristic. That means that these could be the same element, but they have different numbers of neutrons. So what that really means is isotopes weigh different amounts. Isotopes are the same element, but weigh different amounts. And so I'm going to exemplify this with uh, precious tritium. Right? So the way you can tell the difference between an isotope and the atom of an element is mostly from the way that it's symbolized. So like H1, if you pull out your periodic table, you see that um, the atomic number of hydrogen is one, the mass is one, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So this is our normal hydrogen element. Hydrogen element. Okay, and then we would figure out the number of protons and the number of neutrons and the number of electrons um, from the atomic numbers, the atomic mass. So the atomic number being one, the atomic mass being one, we know that this has one proton, because the mass is one, one minus one is zero, it'll have zero neutrons, and we know that the number of protons equals the number of electrons, it has one electron. Okay, next up is H2, or um, it could be written like 2H, something like that, and so this is called deuterium. This is still going to have so this is an isotope of hydrogen. Isotope of hydrogen. And so that means it weighs a different amount. So that instead of weighing one, its atomic mass is two. So it's still going to have one proton because it's still hydrogen. At its base, its atomic number is still one. It's going, but because it has a, a mass of two now, the number of neutrons is going to be 2 minus 1, which equals 1 neutron. So before we had 0 neutrons, now we have 1 neutron. And then the number of protons and electrons are always the same. So this has 1 electron. And one more example of this would be precious tritium, H3 tritium because it weighs three, another isotope of hydrogen, and so we're still going to have the number of protons being one instead of having, so the number of neutrons is going to be three minus one, atomic mass minus the number of protons, that's going to be two, so our number of neutrons, and the number of protons and the number of electrons are all the same. Okay, always the same. So we see that number of protons is not changing. This had one, this had one, this had one. That's because they are all the same element. They're all still hydrogen. The symbol didn't change. What changed was the mass. The mass changed, and when the mass changed, the number of neutrons changed from zero to one to two. So this one weighed one, because we just add protons and neutrons. This one weighed two. This one weighed three. So when we're looking at the atomic mass of hydrogen on the periodic table, um, oops, 0 0.08 atomic mass units, which is the same as grams per mole. That means that um, this is the average of all, average mass of all isotopes based on abundance. So all the different types of hydrogen atoms out there. And that's why it's a decimal. Okay, and you've probably heard of other isotopes as well, like um, carbon-14, it can be written like this, that's used for uh, dating. 
um, and of course precious tritium or maybe like nitrogen 16 or something like that. Okay, so there's other ways to show that the masses are different. So if you're given a problem um, about a particular isotope, make sure that you're using the mass of that isotope and not the mass from the periodic table. That's the most important part here because if you can do that, then the way that you solve for protons, neutrons, and electrons is exactly the same as you would for a normal element. Okay, thank you for listening.